What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another live stream. I am going to be creating a sweater from scratch. I have all my pieces already cut out. I have the comments all set up here on the side so I will be kind of chatting with you guys as I make this sweater. So if you guys hear a little wisp, a little wisp to my voice, I have my retainers in so my bad. What's good everybody? What's good? Um, thanks for coming through every Friday. I'm trying to keep this strong. I did it last Friday, so you already know I'm coming through this Friday and doing another live stream. This time we're going to be doing a sweater from scratch as I started the... Uh, as I started on the live stream. Here we go. Got the control room all set up. <laughs> okay, we gotta get the, the chats. The chat. Okay, here we go. What's good? Pop that out. Pop out that uh, chat real quick. How are you guys doing this Friday? How was your week? What were you guys doing? What's up? Modell, Ethan, Gene, Omar. This this comment's held for review. Your video is helpful as F. All love. What's good, Nick? Thank you. Um, Raphael, Takira. What's up? Do you think Chicago has a distinct fashion set? Distinctive fashion sets um i haven't really looked into it so i can't i can't tell you i don't have an, like an honest opinion about that to be honest so happy to see you live so happy for you to come through uh victoria lynn hey what's up youtube is getting better and better every day um youtube i don't know youtube's eh. for a creator it's a lot different let me tell you that it's a lot different that's for sure. So I I pre-cut all this fabric out, but I do have to fix one part of them. I'll try to do that while chatting with you guys. So I gotta get my pins, got my machine all set up. How you guys doing? How was how was you guys' Friday? I'll start with Friday and then I'll say like what's your what was your favorite day of the week? What did you guys do this week? I know a lot of you guys are probably in school. If not, just got off work. Work is work is tough, man. I'm not gonna lie. Work is tough. My my chat is like is like frozen. Is this is this a good thing? Is this a good thing or bad thing? Let's let's try to pop this out one more time. Let me try to refresh. Let me try to refresh. The chat like this always happens. I, I say this in every live stream. This always happens. Like <laughs> There we go. Got the chat going again. Let's see. Uh, Friday's the best day, bro. I agree. I agree. I got my wisdom teeth taken out. Yo, when I when I got my wisdom teeth taken out, I remember this vividly. I was like eating like mashed potatoes for I don't even know how long. It was just such a long time. Why did you get your wisdom teeth taken out? Was it just, it was just really bad or? Well, I guess, I guess it always is bad, but. I don't know. It's about to be Saturday where I am. Oh shoot. I'm guessing you're on the East Coast. I usually live stream around this time on the West Coast. So West Coast around eight o'clock. So if you guys are trying to catch me on the live stream be sure to catch me at 8 p.m. Pacific time or West Coast time. Let's see, it's about to be Saturday. Added a hood to a shirt of mine is like too it's like too big. Like it hides my entire face. I think that's good though. Cause um you can just tell whoever that you're whoever asks, like, oh why is it too big? Just say that it's ba it's a babe hoodie. They're not gonna they're, they're not gonna be like, oh no it's not. If like, yeah, it is. Bay hoodies are like meant to cover your entire face. So let me pin this right here. Yeah, I accidentally, I accidentally cut out two front pieces, and now I gotta re-sew this this piece back to the back piece. I don't know if you can visualize that, but that's what I'm essentially doing right now. Just trying to pin this back together, or sew it back together. Um, what was 
does anyone speak Spanish or is that Spanish or French? I'm not sure what that is. If you can translate that for me, it's from Raphael. You should get a webcam for live streaming. I use a can can Canon, like Canon, or <laughs> could you correct that? Is that a Canon or a Canon? Like you're about to shoot cannonballs out of, or Canon the 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 camera. I do I don't do live because. Because I can't think of things to say on the spot. Yeah, live streaming is not easy. You gotta have some sort of personality and you gotta have some sort of um, topic to talk about. Otherwise, people would be like, get to tune out like ASAP. And for me, I just like talking to you guys because, man, I, I don't know. I think we're just, I think of my, my viewers as just family and you're just, we're just all here to chat pretty much. Um, what's up AM production welcome back to the live stream as a as a returning live streamer we returning cat fam um, Jamaican cause Salud Saludos Argentina oh hey from uh, America <laughs> Jamaican cause they were impacted like literally totally horizontal what 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 <laughs> uh what's up what's up CR Truth Music what's good what's good uh, I speak a little Spanish where do I buy my fabric I buy my fabric from the link the link to where I buy my fabric should be in the video description be sure to check that out not sponsored or anything that's just my friend's fabric spot or fabric shop you guys can check it out they're reasonably priced too, so if you're trying to find like some reasonably priced fabric, I advise to check it out. Uh, what's up, Anthony? Tricia Aller said, greetings from Argentina. Oh, greetings from, oh, I already responded to that. Has anyone told you you look like Rich Chiga? Yeah, I have had so many people tell me that. But my hair is a lot different than Rich Chiga, that's for sure. I've got, there's so many like, there's so many different celebrities I look like. At one point, people were calling me the Asian Tyler, the creator. And then Rich Chiga is like the newer one. So Rich Chiga, Rich Chiga is actually my cousin, if you guys didn't know. No, nah, I'm just trolling you guys. Um, uh, is a circuit... Is a circuit a good start for a clothing line, bro? What do you mean circuit? I don't know what you mean by that. Hey there from Sydney, Australia. What's going on? Welcome from, uh, welcome from, um, well, welcome from. I am just so weird, man. Uh, thanks for coming through from America. <laughs> I want to go to Australia one time, or yeah, one time in my life. I'll take a, take an airplane trip over or I'll just, I'll just get a boat, I'll build a boat, and then I'll somehow draft myself over there. Somehow. <laughs> um, what's up from... Is that Atlanta? Is that, is that, is that where you're from, Atlanta? Hola, que has... What, is, what does that mean? What does that mean? I, I, just, started, I just started, so it's fine. Glenn, Glenn from The Walking Dead. Yeah, that's another one that I can get. Glenn from The Walking Dead. I think I was getting that, like, in my last live stream last year when I was doing live streams in December I got a lot of oh my god it's Glenn so I don't actually watch The Walking Dead because someone gave me like a quick synopsis of who Glenn is I, I played The Walking Dead game but I haven't watched the series so could someone explain me real quick give me that TLDR if you guys know what that is TL that's not it that's not how it goes I mean, if anyone can give me a summary of who Glenn is Dislocated, <laughs> a <laughs> little peep. I was good. They hi. What are you doing? He is dead now. He is dead now. Okay though. Cree cut. Oh, crooked. But it's basically a transfer a lot easier. Oh, I don't know. I don't know much about it. But I don't know. Let me know what it looks like. You can like DM me or something. And I can check it out. Glenn is dead. 
So if Glenn is dead, does that mean I'm dead? Technically, you're talking to a ghost right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am... I need to set my machine up for the right setting real quick. I am going to try to sew this as perfectly as possible. There's always that like 5% of me that realizes I messed up too late. And uh, if you guys are wondering what I'm sewing, I'm sewing a sweater from scratch. So if you guys are just uh, tuning in, that's basically what I'm doing behind the scenes. And I'm going to show you guys like the progression through making the sweater. Uh, what's a good start for a clothing line? I was thinking t-shirts, hoodies, jackets. I mean, the thing is, you need to know what you want. Because there's thousands of clothing lines out there with printed t-shirts that say their logo or that's printed their logo or say, says their name of their their company the brand and you're just gonna seem like another one of those so if you can think outside of the box then I would suggest you uh, start a brand otherwise I wouldn't I'm not trying to crush your dreams or anything but you gotta really think outside of the box for that but you really need to be like honestly what do you guys look for when you go shopping do you look for how it looks how it feels if it's a hyped up brand like what do you what are you guys style like like my style is more of like I'm a grown I'm turning into a grown man so I gotta get a little bit on the like mature side of things but where do you what do you guys usually rock like tell me your like a breakdown of what your fit would be like would it be like Nike's uh, Nike's on foot you got some joggers and then a hoodie from like Supreme or something or from some brand that you really like or from H&M. Let me know what you guys would, what, what would be your standard fit? So like tomorrow if you're gonna go out on a date, what would you wear to that date to flex? I'm gonna like, I'm gonna give it some time. Um, but he's young and would do all the tough athletic things. What? Oh, he's talking about Glenn? To avoid the walker. Okay. Rest rest in pepperonis to my boy Glenn, man. He seemed he seemed like he was a good guy, I guess. Alright, rest in pepperonis, man. Alright. Say hi for Indonesia. Indonesia. I can't I can't pronounce. I have my retainers in. What's up people? What's up peeps? What's going on? <laughs> um is vinyl printer a good investment? I feel like it is a good investment, but again, you gotta really like you gotta understand that if you are going to get a vinyl printer like you're gonna be doing all that stuff on your own. Like you, you're, that means like all the production will be in your house. Like that's what you're trying to avoid. You're trying to avoid production at your house at all costs. You never want to do it at your house. If you can outsource to like a clothing company or anything like that, outsource as much as you can. That's, that's just the bottom line. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be doing anything in house. All that stuff should be sourced somewhere. Uh, I would invest into like a sewing machine or something like that to get labels in. But I mean, everything can't be in house because then, you know, your parents are gonna throw you out. Or <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I know, like starting small, locally custom stuff. Yeah, customs are kind of hard to produce because there's some sort of quality control that needs to be implemented into your clothing line. And unless you get like, unless you have a couple of years of sewing experience under your belt, I wouldn't really recommend it. Like I, I've been sewing for about four years now, four or five years. And I feel like even now, like I'm not where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? What the heck?
Like, you gotta get a couple years in before you think about starting anything. With brands, you gotta become established, uh, I would say becoming an established person first, like a, a presence on the internet. You gotta have some sort of following before you start a brand, otherwise the upcoming is gonna be pretty hard. I've been trying to switch my style from graphic tees to a more to sort of a more solid mature look. I think that like that's that's what happens when you grow up. I think that I remember back then when I was I was about 17, 18, all I wore was joggers. I would wear whatever hyped up brand was out. So black scale was a thing at one point. I would wear that like to death. I would wear black scale. I would wear at the time, what was it? There was some other brand. I remember wearing Diamond at one point. I used to wear a Bay back in the day. That was like, I used to wear a Bay and Diamond back in 2000, like 2009, 2010. That's crazy, man. Those were the days, man. Those were the days. Um, yeah, he was awesome. I was trying to get more slim clothes to make my physique pop more. Yeah, with... It just really depends on who you are, because sometimes that works for some people, sometimes it doesn't. It just really depends on who you are, to be honest. But I get where you're going with that one, man. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, shoot. I gotta, I gotta, okay, after I sew this on, I gotta, like, recut it, because then it's not gonna work. Alright, what's, um... I am all right. Let me let me read the comments. Can you check out my channel? And give me some trips, some tips. You mean? Um, my style is pretty low key. I usually wear a pair of jeans and a plain T-shirt. I do like printed tees. Like that's how I feel, man. Like I'm not, or I, I can't say man anymore on the stream. So that's how I feel. Like sometimes I would just want to like wear just a plain like black T-shirt and just call it a day, but you know. It just can't be like that for me. <laughs> I accepted that life, man. I accepted the life that I got to be somewhat fashionable. Or else it just kind of looks bad. I feel like if you don't put anything on, like, anything on that looks presentable, then, you know, you're, you're doing yourself a disservice, to be honest. Because you're not, you're not taking care of yourself. That's what I feel. That's my, that's, that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. That looks pretty off. So what I did, guys, I went and sewed, because I messed it up, so I re-sewed some piece back on. Now it's like just the back of the t-shirt. This gives it kind of a layering effect. Um, uh, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. I don't think I need to do anything else than that. Let me look at this one more time. Yeah, that's fine. I'll go, I'm sorry, I'm gonna start sewing stuff. Let's see, uh, can I, I already read that. My style's low key. Uh, do you have a commercial sewing machine and serger? I do not. I only have a, just your home cert, or home sewing machine. I do not have a serger yet, but I definitely want to get one. Um, it's just not in my budget as of right now. I'm just, I'm a, you know, that broke life. You know what I'm saying? That broke life. The Zans turned around and popped a little bit. <laughs> What's my Instagram? My Instagram is at Ken Andrew Daily. All my social media links will be in the video description of the live stream. So if you want to check out my Instagram or if you've never checked it out, be sure to do so when you have the chance. Um, are you are you half streaming, half sewing? Yes, I am. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do the most right now. I'm trying to become. Trying to become like a live streaming YouTuber, I guess. Just cause live streaming, I feel like live streaming is so fun because you get to like interact with your fam. You're like, I don't, I don't like calling you guys subscribers. It's weird. Like, like who would like? Would you go to your friends and say like, "Hey, what's up, subscriber"? No, you wouldn't say that. So I like calling you guys my fam or my cad fam. That's why I like calling you my fam. Um. Joggers and bomber jackets. Yeah, I feel like bomber jackets, like, I have, like, how much bomber jackets do I have? I have, I have three bomber jackets. I have a, I have an olive green one. I have a, 
kind of like this camo one that I've been trying to get rid of. And I have like this blue one. But I don't know, man. Like, I used to wear it all the time, but it just got old real quick. I just wear it out just if it's really cold. I DM'd you. Okay, where do you DM me on, though? Like, to be honest, I don't know where you DM'd me on. Don't know, you gotta let me know. Or else I don't know. And I will never be able to see it. Have you ever, have you thought of self-publishing a sewing book on Amazon? It would be cool, though. There's not, there's not much sewing books there for men's fashion. Your style is pretty dope. I mean, that's something that I want to, like, eventually try to do. Write a book, maybe. I don't know. Honestly, I'm just kind of having fun with it. I think once I'm starting to, like, settle down, I got nothing else to do, and I'm kind of running out of ideas, that's when you just, that's when you throw in that book option, to be honest. Like, that's the only other way to go about doing that. So... Maybe that book option's coming soon. Coming soon. Normally wear jeans, a sweater, or a t-shirt in the summer. Yeah, usually that's my, like, go-to. What's up? What's up, Jay? What's good? What's good? I want tight pants. Yo, I can't do tight pants anymore. It's just, it's, it just doesn't fit with me anymore. Uh, what's up, bro? Amazing job. Appreciate it. Cinema was good. I bought a sewing machine and surgery used. Yeah, I can definitely, I can definitely buy a surgery used, but I don't know. I'm all about getting stuff new, so it's kind of hard. I agree with Rick. Your style is just. Oh wait, let me read that again. I agree with Rick. Your style and just the fact that you do so much unique men's fashion items really makes you so appealing as a YouTuber. There's dozens of crafty surgery. <laughs> what you said. Uh, I appreciate that. I mean, I try to do as much as I can. To be honest, like, I'm just kind of having fun with it anymore. It's not about, like, all the views and all the extra stuff that comes with YouTube. I think that when you have fun with something, that's gonna, that's just gonna be valued at something higher. And plus, YouTube's kind of like my part-time job. I have a full-time job, so it's not like, it's not my everything, you know? This is something that I fall back on when I want to just kind of chill and relax and just do something, you know, creative for a little bit, a little bit, a little time. But yeah, that's how that's how I go about it, guys. That's that's how you should be going about life. You know what I'm saying? That's how you should be going about life. The motions of the ocean will take you places. All right, so I do appreciate that, Victoria. Thank you, thank you for the the kind words. Uh, like twenty five dollars for a computerized Genomian brother. Yo, that's a crazy deal, man. I, I shoot, like that's a crazy deal. That's a crazy deal. I hope you're doing. I hope you're doing. Uh, I'm doing work with that though. I love bomber, jack bomber jackets, but they're hella expensive. Yo, I went to the thrift store. Like, how long ago did I go to the thrift store? I think I went to the thrift store like I think three weeks ago and I just I saw this whole line of bomber jackets they were all in my size but I chose to skip through all of them each one was about like twelve dollars but I don't know man bomber jackets they're kind of hit or miss with me sometimes I love them sometimes like uh, I don't know it's weird it's weird don't ask me about bomber jackets anymore I'm kind of at that stage where I, I don't really care about them as much. But don't be, don't let that discourage you from buying bomber jackets. They're, they're fresh. Do you know how to make wallets? I do know, I do know how to make, um, I do know how to make wallets. I just don't know where that template is. I made a pattern for it. I've, I've did everything that I possibly could do for the wallet genre in my like patterns book but i just don't know where i put it because like i have this pattern like portfolio thing back there that my girlfriend's brother got or my girlfriend and my girlfriend's brother got me uh for my anniversary and i use it i use it all the time well i put all my stuff in there so i guess technically i use it all the time
I sew a little bit and then start a little talking. Um, I DM'd you on Instagram, but I, I am really trying to make it with clothing. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. You just gotta, like, you really just gotta grind. I think that with sewing and creating a clothing brand surrounding Cut and Sew, it's, you just gotta really have that drive, to be honest. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a tough one. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. It's a tough one. Getting that cut, getting that, getting that crisp cut and sew brand is so expensive. But, you know, you can do it, man. Like, I believe in you. If I, if I can believe in you, there's going to be someone, there's going to be a lot of people that believe in you, to be honest. Um, we love you, man. We love you. When I talk about we, I'm talking about not only myself, but the cat fam. <laughs> uh, hey, off topic. But I used to talk to this girl, I was super into her until she found out that I like to drink, smoke, party and stuff. She thought I was a good boy, but after that she blocked me. A few months later, she followed me again. Do you think I should shoot my shot? Um, I would, I would just, I would just, I would just talk to her. Like, you can't, you, there's nothing to lose at this point. She already told, she like... She went through that phase, but then she added you for some reason. There's something behind that reason, and you got to figure out what that is, to be honest. Hey, man, if, hey, if anyone wants to just straight up vent about stuff, by all means, get my opinion. That's why I'm here. I'm like, I'm like that one brother that you have that's like super chill and like down to talk about it, whatever. Um, was was recently watching Project Runway, Guilty Pleasure, man, and they're obsessed with caplets. I'm just wondering if there's such thing as a men's caplet. Cape, capelet. Is that how you say it? Capelet? I don't know. I'm, I've, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's, there's nothing wrong with, like, see, there's, with, with fashion, there's always a male version and a female version. There's no just female. Like, joggers, if you guys don't know, joggers was originally, like, a women's, like, statement piece. Like, girls would only wear joggers. It's not till like, it got popularized, I think, in either the runway or something, that it became, like, a men's thing. Hey Ken, I saw your sweatpants video a few days ago and inspired me to tailor my own sweatpants. Came out all right. Yo, that's crazy. Okay, I know a lot of people come from like my sweatpants video or like my bomber jacket video or my bomber, it was bomber jacket, sweatpants. I think those are like the only two that people really come from. I know the t-shirt tutorials sometimes, but not all the time. Oh shoot, I messed up. I gotta flip it over, hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> gotta put this through. I'm doing the uh, top stitch right now, so it's like nice and crisp. Those nice and crisp seams. All right, so what comments we got now? Um, do you have a video on making templates on pants slash shirt? If not, can you make a video on it? I do have a, I do not have a video on making the pattern, but I do have a website that shows you how to make a pattern. And that link should be in the video description as well. <laughs> Sick. What do you know about them top stitches though? That's that's where the, that's where the real sewing starts. That's how you know you're getting better sewing when you when you like take the time out to do top stitching.
inventing. So in design school and have been doing nothing but dresses for a year and a half and wanting a future in men's fashion. Yo, I'm just in a women's wear endless void and it's killing me. The thing is, the reason why, I feel like this is the reason why if you are going through fashion school and they make, they help, they teach you to make nothing but women's clothing. The reason why is because that, that pushes you as an individual to, once you have the opportunity, opportunity to go into the field or the design, design that you want, it like, it like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but that's something that someone else explained to me like a long time ago. And it really, you do that because you want to learn all the different techniques. You learn about all the different fabric choices. And then that helps you decide for your own clothing line or for your own designs, what you want it to look like. I don't know. It's, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta like have this conversation with my friend again. And then, uh, she, she went to like school for fashion and she explained some of this stuff to me when I when I worked with her back then uh, I just if I ever see her in the streets or something I'd be like yo answer this question for me <laughs> let's see top stitching done let's get it yo that's so crisp um Check your DMs for a surprise. <laughs> You're a big inspiration for me in creating my own clothing. Keep up the good work. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate that, Xavier. Thanks, thanks for the love. Um, I know you have a website on the on the template, but please make a video because I'm a visual learner. Yeah, it's just it's just hard for me to decipher how to. Um... Oh dang! What the heck happened here? Oh shoot! How did this happen? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh well. I just gotta I just gotta work with what I got. <laughs> okay guys, so right now I just sewn sewn the shoulders to this is like a sweater thing I'm making. So I just sewn on the sweater. Now I'm gonna sew on the sleeves. That's like the next step. Unfortunately part of the fabric got messed up in the process, but I'm gonna work with what I got. And that's the thing though, you gotta always work with what you have. You don't always need the best equipment in the world to make the best things. It's all subjective, honestly. It is all subjective. Um, I'll check my DMs a little bit after. I don't wanna be rude. Uh, you're a big inspiration, I read that. I, I, I gotta make a tutorial on that. Is, is your full-time job dealing with fashion? Unfortunately not, it's something completely different. But I love doing this on my free time because then it's like I'm not stressed about fashion. I'm not stressed about making things. I'm just I'm just I'm just having fun with it. Like that's all I'm doing. So I I have this oversized sleeve. This sleeve is like ten times the length. This is like the size of my my frame right now. So uh, I'm trying to make a ruche black. A sweater with the ruche and then I want the ruche to be really definite so or the definition of this the ruche is really good so I'm gonna try to do that I am going to try to do that today let's see let's see boom bada bing bop bop all right um, huh, thanks much respect what is your biggest tip or piece of advice for an inspiring designer and, and starving fashion student. I think the biggest thing that I can give as advice, especially from what I've been doing here on YouTube and kind of doing whatever I've been doing, I, I think that you just got to really believe in yourself and you really want to, if you have an idea, don't, don't be afraid to, to do it. Cause that's, that's what, that's one thing that really propelled me as a like designer and someone that sews is I had all these ideas, but I was afraid to, I was afraid of what people were going to think of them. And that really set me back. Cause then it was like, uh, I don't know if someone will like this or like whatever the case may be. And you know, that, that really put me in like in a, a really awkward like place. Cause I was like, 
I gotta please people's, I gotta, I gotta like care about other people's opinion. I mean, to an extent, you do have to do that, but you want to do it in a way that you present yourself well. You want to, you, I don't know. That's you just just do you. Basically, bottom line, just do you. Don't worry about what your professors are yelling at you um, about. Don't take it, take it with a grain of salt. I. I know that a lot of people go to fashion school. They watch my channel sometimes, and they're like, "Why am I? Why am I doing this? Like, why am I doing this? I want to do, I want to make my own designs." I think they're, honestly, they're setting up, setting you up for success, because they want you, to be a tough, like a, a tough individual. Because the fashion world is not easy. You get criticized every day, of your life. What if, what if, like, you woke up one day, you check your Instagram, you check your your Twitter, you check your emails, and someone just calls you straight up trash. You just gotta be tough and accept that as criticism. Like, reinforce that and be like, watch, I'm about to create a clothing line that's gonna be so bomb, you're gonna take back what you said. That, there you go. <laughs> um, I don't think I saw ruching on a, on a sweater sleeve. I've done it on this, this is, this is ruched. This sweater that I'm wearing right now. All right, so what I'm doing right now, I'll show you guys. This attach the sleeve. I'm pinning it down, getting it prepped. Then I gotta do it on the other side. Yes, the other side. Uh, I'm I'm think I'm getting sick, guys. It's not a good sign. I know who got me sick too. It's me again. What's up, Cassandra? Welcome back. Welcome back. So, I know that you guys all come from different places, because uh, with the power of the internet, that wouldn't be possible. <laughs> but what are, what are you guys currently doing in life? Are you guys going to school? Are you guys do you guys work full time? Like, what's your what's your occupation right now? Are you a student? And what do you do? Like, I'm I'm really curious. Have you ever encountered a fan in public? If so, how was the experience? So. Um, I've actually experienced a lot of encounters with people maybe like earlier in my years I don't do it as often as I do or it doesn't happen as often as it used to just because like the people that when I started my YouTube I started when I was very young and a lot of the, a lot of the people that grew up with me they're kind of off and doing their own things now so it's like I don't really have that same like Audience as I used to just cuz I think my audience is more in the older age and they have they have lives if I'm pretty sure they're either married or have kids or Something going on with their life. They're busy But if I do see someone and they do recognize me, I mean I say hey, what's up? Like I have a conversation with them um, And usually that's how it goes uh, What's up? Oh man, I missed a couple comments. Here we go. Uh oh, it's cold. Yeah, I might be coming down with a cold. Uh, leaving for the Marine Corps next Sunday. Good luck. Uh, learn a lot. You know, thank you for serving our country. Uh, what's up? What's up? What's up? Moto Biker, what's good? How you doing? I'm currently working on uh, my bomber jacket. It's a little rough around the edges, but I think with patience and better sewing machine. Once I per progress, I no. Once I progress, will help tons. I'll post pics when it's done. I'm excited. I'm excited to see it. Um, high school student. Okay, we got a little high schoolers. We got got my. I I read that comment that my uh, my girlfriend's actually here on the live stream. <laughs> um, admiring your work. I'm trying. I'm working hard. I'm a senior in high school working at Joanne's Fabric Store. Yo, low key but high key, I really want to work at Joanne's. I don't know. It was just like, it was just like calling my name. I was, I put an application in, but then I never really got a job there. But I always wanted to work there. Um, thank you for the inspiration. I try, I try. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't. But I do, I do try. Um, man, why you gotta call me out? You called yourself out. I wasn't even saying that. Um, 
video editor, but like not the fun kind, the soul crushing kind. Ooh, I feel you, man. Editing YouTube videos, type my type of editing is like very crucial because I'm so like, I'm like I gotta make sure it's perfect. If it's not perfect, like I gotta at least make it look good. <laughs> I'm just dis disabled. Wow. Okay. Um, but I work in work at photography I drive for Lyft and I sew for family and friends just did some baby onesies but baby blanket and shirts if you don't mind me asking um I mean dang how do, how do you do that like I have I give you so much props and that really inspires me because like that really does inspire me like that was that was that was touching I don't, I don't know how you do it but I'm proud of you I'm proud of what you've been doing. Um, full time college student. That's pretty much me. I want. I'm. I'm going back to school. Go figure. Uh, working on an online store that is custom clothing brand made from scratch. Who does graphic design in here? Yo, if you are gonna start a clothing brand, you need to have some sort of background in in uh, graphic design, because you're gonna run into that like you want to get into graphics and whatnot. That's something that I've learned personally. I'm a full-time university student right now. I remember your older videos, by the way, the custom cat videos, they were pretty awesome. That was back in the day, man. Like I, I used to like, I used to spend like seven hours just sewing custom caps. That was, those are the days, man. Um, would you ever work with a fan? I have I actually had a lot of fans like ask me like, Hey, I would love to work with you, blah, blah, blah. But I really stick it to them. Like, if you're going to work with me, like, you have to understand that there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And I've had this person, like, contact me before. It's like, hey, I want to work with you. And I was like, okay, great. And then I asked him, like, hey, so, like, what type of mock-ups do you have? And then he, he was not prepared. He didn't have anything set up. He was just like, oh, great. And I think that when you come to someone with like a collaboration, you gotta have something like to offer. Otherwise, what what is the collaboration, you know? Um, learn everything from you, by the way. A lot, I think that as, what you, what's so crazy is that I hear something outside. Huh, weird. Uh, I just found your channel and, and uh, saw your live. What's up? Thanks for dropping by. I do live streams every every Friday after I get off of work. You know, just kind of kick off the, the weekend. But thanks for dropping by, you know. Um, I'm just sewing a sweater. <laughs> just kicking it. April from Cool Erpa turned me to your channel. I also love... Annika Victoria. So I've always wondered if Annika Victoria is that is that even how you say her name? I feel like all this time I've been butchering it and she just hasn't said anything about it. April's really cool. Um her boyfriend Eric is is something me and Eric, her boyfriend, have a lot in common. He loves photography. I love videography and photography. And uh April's really chill. We had like one time we had a double date and that was really fun. A April, um, what's crazy about April and Eric, they don't live that far away from me, but it feels like, it feels like they do live like years apart, years away for some reason or hours away. Um, it looks like you smelled your own fart back there. Um, I don't know, no comment. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Annika. Yeah, Annika, like, I heard that she, um, she's disabled or she has a condition with her. I mean, I hope she's, uh, she's fine. Because I, I remember watching a video or remembering a time that, uh, I was watching a video she's talking about it. I, I, I don't remember entirely, but. I'm gonna sew this part real quickly. I know that there's a there was a there's a select few of men sewers on YouTube, but it just it just didn't come across as something that was dominant in our community. So a lot of us kind of quit. <laughs> Sometimes I would take breaks from YouTube and then come back. 
And I know that people always ask me, why don't I collaborate with certain people? Collaboration is like really hard to, even if you're like really, really good about collaboration, it's really hard to work with someone else, especially when they're so far away. Um, but I would love to collaborate. It's just like, there's a lot of, uh, there are a lot of ideas that are bounced around and then the the idea doesn't come across as something that we both like. I don't know, it's just something that I've, I want to share with you guys. Um, she has a serious condition. I hope she gets better. I don't know what her condition is, but she seems like a really nice person. She seems like, she see, she seems really cool and her boyfriend seems really chill. Like. If she ever comes to America with her boyfriend, I would love to, like, have a double date with her and her boyfriend. Hang out, talk about stuff, talk about weird stuff. <laughs> um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I, I live here in San Diego. I've been sewing on YouTube for almost five years. I think this is actually my fifth year. Um, I, don't, I don't recall... Uh, how long I've actually been on YouTube. It's just been that long. Which is pretty sad, because you, you would think like I would keep track of this, but you know, I, I just kind of do YouTube so casually that it just comes natural as far as like, oh, I'm gonna jump on YouTube. Let me, let me figure out what's going on. And that's pretty much it. Um, her and Amy, her and Amy did a sewing challenge. Amy, April? You mean April or Amy? I don't know who is April or Amy. Yeah, April. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's so crazy because April actually reached out to me like months ago, like months ago. And I didn't see I didn't see it because sometimes I don't check my email, so she actually emailed me and then I'll, and then I realized she emailed me and I like I like messaged her I was like oh my gosh I'm so sorry like let's collaborate and then then we went we, uh, I drove up to wherever she lives and then me her no she she actually j drove down to where I live me my girlfriend. Her, Eric, we all had this little ramen thing. It was so fun. I think I still have that footage somewhere. I should probably put it in a vlog or something. I have no clue where that footage is. I vlogged when we were hanging out with them. I just don't know where it is. Oh, shoot. Um, just want to say thanks. Your videos helped me out a lot with bringing my designs to reality. Keep it up. Appreciate that. Much love. Um, your channel anniversary was November 13th. Belated happy anniversary. Wow. I didn't even realize that it was my fifth. What is that? Fourth? I started 2012. It's already 2017. So it's actually been my five year anniversary. That was like five days ago. That's crazy. I totally just forgot. Hi, Judy's cousin. Saw that you're alive, though. I s oh, thought that you're alive. Thought I'd stop by and say hi. Thanks for coming by. I'm probably going to be hanging out with Judy when uh, Dan Sember Dan kind of happens because I think that um, we might be doing something for that. Or I'll, I'll, I'll talk to Benji, maybe. I think Benji would be, like, because I know Judy's probably really busy doing a lot of stuff. But, yeah, I can't wait to do Dance Summer. Me and my girlfriend are going to dance. Even though I'm not a dancer and she's a dancer, I'm going to fail to try to dance for, for charity. That's my goal. <laughs> try my hardest. And fail miserably. Um, 
Happy anniversary, thanks. Gotta rock my Dan Summer shirt. I, I actually have my, oh, I wore it today. I, it's in the wash. But yeah, my Dan Summer shirt. I gotta start, I gotta start wearing that a lot more now. But thanks for dropping by. <laughs> I really appreciate that. All right, guys, so I'm gonna try to do the most with this black sweater. I feel like with black sweaters, it's just really cool to have some embroidery on it. So I have all these leftover embroidery patches. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sew it. I'm just gonna sew it going all the way around the backside of the sweater. I think that'll look cool. <laughs> I got, I gotta like really envision it first before I sew everything down. But yeah. I'm gonna do some, um, a little bit of sewing here. Actually guys, I'm gonna be ending the live stream in about nine minutes. So if you guys have any more questions, feel free to uh, drop that down below. Otherwise, I really do appreciate the people that did come by, drop by and kind of chat. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your time. Um, see you later AM, pro AM production. Thanks for coming by. Alright, so the comments are coming in kind of slow. So give me a couple a couple uh, couple of seconds to get situated here. What are your state uh oof oof words? What are your what are some of your favorite sewing projects you've done and do you have any goals for potential upcoming projects? So for me personally, my favorite project that's really hard because there's a there's a lot that I've done over the years. But I would say bomber jacket, the bomber jacket tutorial or video excuse me, I um the bomber jacket video. Um, I think that was probably my all-time favorite just because like it was just a huge dedication to my grandma a lot of a lot of people don't know this but I started sewing and I started to recognize that I love sewing because uh, because of my grandma and because of my mom they both sewed things for me when I was younger and I just kind of fell in love with it um, but for us, as far as goals, I really just want to start focusing on making quality clothing. I think that I can make pieces of clothing, but for me to make them like look, for me to make them look really good, it's a challenge. So sometimes like you would think, oh, well he can make anything, so why doesn't he make it? I think it's a little bit more to that. I think what I need to do now is just focus on just crafting my skill. I think that I have a good idea of how to create things, but how I create them and how to make them look good is still like in the process. Like I'm still working and learning and working towards that. So that's kind of my goal right now is just quality control. I know that you guys probably, if you guys watch my videos consistently, you, you know that I talk about quality control like like it's like no other topic. <laughs> like I have nothing else to talk about other than my quality control. Alright, sewed on the second sleeve. So now this is just a huge like life, like huge poncho thing. So this is kind of what it looks like now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I am like partially done with the sweater. I've have all these embroidery, embroidery flowers. So I got this, I got this, I got this. What else do I got here? I'm just trying to get rid of these. I, I feel like I'm gonna start hoarding these if I don't do anything with these. So let me show you guys the embroidery patches that I have here. Let's see. I got tiger. I got a tiger patch. Oh, upside down. Got this one. Got this bumblebee. Uh, 
I got this. <laughs> um, I got a little bird here. Oh, too bright, too bright. Got a little bird. I got another little bird. I got this flower. And I think I got a hawk somewhere. Where is that embroidery patch? My jigger. Nope, not it. Nope. Uh, I don't know where it is, but I'll figure. I'll find it. But I'm gonna try to do like a string of like embroidery across the back. That's like my plan. Oh, here it is. Found it. I'm gonna put this on the back. And I'm just gonna start just adding patches to the back of this. So I guess I'm gonna be starting from one side of the sleeve and then working my way around. Um, but yeah, I just wanna say thank you for all the tutorials. Thanks for uh, dropping that, that support and love. Thanks for watching. Um, who watches Project Runway? I, 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 I just don't. <laughs> um, I made some cool shiz thanks to you. I Hopefully I'm going to help you make some more cool-ish in the future. <laughs> um, don't spoil the last episode. Ken, do you know how to replicate Mar Margarita's bomber jacket like from the finale part one? I really want it, but like the skill. I don't know. If you can send me a picture somehow, maybe I can, I can kind of help you decipher how to do it otherwise I don't know is this it's oh shoot okay this might be a problem because this is this is uh this is a glue wand glue wands are not the best um I'll deem it to you okay sounds good man sounds good sounds good all right so let me oh wait should I not put it on the sleeve I just realized I can't put it on to the sleeve because I'm gonna ruche the sleeve, so I can't put that there. Awkward, awkward. So I guess I can't use these ones, but I can use the other ones. Huh, okay, I'll just put this away. All right guys, so um, are you gonna be done by the time you end stream? No, I'm not. I'm gonna probably do or finish this project on my next live stream next week. So just give you a breakdown of what I sewed down. Um, let's see, let's see if I can give you a kind of breakdown. So I cut all this fabric and then I sewed on the sleeves, but now I'm gonna be putting like some embroidery going across the back. So let me try to fix this. I'm gonna do some top, top stitching next, next time we live stream. So this is kind of like a live stream project. So here's this, here's a sweater from scratch. I'll come back a little bit. Here it is. There you go. That's all it is. It's gonna look sick. It's gonna look sick next week um, when I finish it and start sewing on the patches and whatnot. I'm actually gonna swap me and buy like 20 more of these so I can just have a huge meme fest. But yeah, that's pretty much the live stream for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this this live stream will be going on my YouTube so um, if you don't have the chance to watch the whole thing or you, if you didn't watch the whole thing it'll be on my YouTube you guys can check it out but I, I just want to say thanks for dropping by it's always a pleasure every Friday around this time I usually live stream so if you want to uh, catch it if you guys are watching this after the live stream is done uh, be sure to drop by next Friday and uh, we'll uh, we'll continue on the sweater so I'll catch you guys in the next live stream. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Stay classy. That's not what I say. Keep it daily. Um, I'll catch you guys next one, man. And women. Later. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let me read you some comments. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't want to miss any. Uh, I'm going to check your videos now. Peace. See you guys. Um, peace. <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta end that live.